Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. On the average day, how many browser windows do you have open? Maybe one. Okay, right now, how many tabs do you have open in your web browser? I'm guessing it's somewhere between five and ten. I mean, at least, I know that's how many tabs I have open in my default web browser in the average minute. It's here, 99995, negative four, over 5,000, about 42, over 9,000, over 9,000! <clears throat> it had to be done. Well, if you are like me and you check your Twitter account, Facebook account, your Google Buzz account, potentially even your Flickr account, and then some, you probably have a lot of tabs open. You may even use separate utilities uh, to help manage those social media websites. But uh, this weekend, uh, with the help of Jake Warner, I put together facebuzzer.com. That's the website that you see behind me here. And uh, quite simply, it's eight iframes put together on one web page. That's it. Just using the iframe tag. What we're doing is we're pulling in the iPhone optimized website for Google Buzz, Facebook, Twitter. Of course, for Twitter, I'm using hollow.com. That's H A H L O because it's a little better. Uh, Friend feed. Uh, then we've also got Flickr, Wikipedia, Tech Meme, and Dig. So, if that sounds interesting to you, you might want to check it out. Now, I've got the iframes loaded right here. Uh, I can scroll each one of them independently. There's the Wikipedia. I like uh, The thing I like about Wikipedia is you click the W, and then you uh, click the random button, and it'll take you to a random Wikipedia article, which is kind of neat. At least, to me, it's neat. Uh, every one of these iframes is, for the most part, fully functional. Uh, now, the website, you'll notice if you've pulled it into your default browser, uh, may have a few issues, and I'm going to get to that in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh facebuzzer.com, and you'll see that the screen kind of went gray, and then there's this little dialogue in the middle. It's explaining a little bit more about what this is all about. So the facebuzzer.com experience, and by the way, the name came from the original idea. I wanted Facebook... Uh, Twitter and Google Buzz all in the same web page. I was just going to embed the iframe uh, tags, and I suppose at some point I, I probably could still do that. Anybody could do it. I just wanted to do it this way because I thought I could get a lot more information in the same uh, amount of space. Uh, so Face Buzzer is a mashup between Google Buzz, Facebook, and Twitter. Of course, I added more, as you can see. So here it'll tell you it's optimized for WebKit browsers like Google Chrome or Safari. Uh, there have been a few issues with the latest betas of those uh, utilities, so uh, you may have a, a, a couple of hiccups, and I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, so you read these instructions, not much to see, other than you need to make sure that you log in to your Google account through the web browser in which you happen to be using facebuzzer.com, uh, and you also need to authenticate in hollow, H-A-H-L-O. That's the interface or the pane that's right here. That's the Twitter experience. And the reason why I use hollow, let me go ahead and close that, hollow.com instead of twitter.com, um, because it's a much richer Twitter experience. I loved hollow on the iPhone. I still love it on the iPhone, as a matter of fact, um, back when uh, apps weren't available. And they've continued to improve on hollow and made it just an amazing experience. Well, not just on the desktop, but certainly uh, mobile as well. So we've got Dig, TechMeme, Wikipedia, Flickr, FriendFeed, Twitter, by way of Hollow, Facebook, and Google Buzz. Now, if you want, you could go ahead and hover over, like, uh, there's a white space above each particular pane. You can hover over it and then drag and drop it. And as you do that, you'll see that uh, the panes are rearranged. So it's not too much of a pain to rearrange the pane. And you'll also notice that when I move each pane, it, it, they blink. And the reason why is because as soon as I move it, it initiates a refresh on that particular tab. So if you're having an issue at, with one particular, um, I said tab, but I meant uh, iframe, uh, which is nothing more than an HTML tag that's been around for years, uh, this page, this site, facebuzzer.com is not optimized for the iPhone. It's not for use on your iPhone. What it is, is a way to have all of these experiences in one browser window. Uh, I did run into issues, if I go ahead and launch Chrome, uh, I did run into, ish in, into issues with authenticating with Hollow, 
but you know, for the most part, it, it, it works okay. Uh, I, I can say any bugs that I have run into uh, are typically problems on the other end. Uh, Google Buzz isn't perfect. I mean, they just launched it in beta, uh, what was it, just the other day. And uh, so, log into your accounts. I'm not seeing anything. They're just iframe tags. That's it. So, everything that you're doing is happening elsewhere. I'm just aggregating all these things together for you. At some point in the future, if there is interest, um, and I don't know how easy it would be, uh, we may add the uh, option of uh, closing one of these or several of these and then adding your own little widgets here, uh, like y these little iframe tags. So let's say you wanted to add the mobile version of YouTube, which doesn't work very well uh, on the desktop, by the way. Uh, you could potentially do that, uh, but then we don't really have a way for you to save that session uh, for the future. There's no user logins. I mean, this is pretty much what you get at this point. Uh, perhaps if uh, there is other interest or I find other iPhone optimized sites that a lot of people like to use, I'd consider adding them uh, to this page and, and potentially making like a bar that people could select different options on and off. Uh, it was just kind of an experiment. Uh, really only took one day to, to put together and uh, so just wanted to throw that out there. You could also uh, use either, um, what was it, Mozilla's Prism or on uh, the Mac, use Fluid app and, and then create your own little application, your own little uh, single browser window experience. So what I did using Fluid app, which is freeware on, uh, on the Mac, uh, I basically created an application, a separate application with a separate icon called FaceBuzzer, and then I can launch it separately uh, apart from my, uh, let me just launch it here. I'm just going to type in face buzzer. It's going to launch a face buzzer application on the other screen. And then I can close my browser window, but that app still runs. It's kind of the idea of Mozilla's Prism, too. So if you want to do that, you can do that. I mean, it's the web page that you could use. Uh, may have issues, as I said, authenticating with Hollow. Google Buzz is kind of quirky as well. Uh, just make sure you log into the accounts or at least authenticate with those accounts the way that they're set up to work in an official capacity. Me? I'm just aggregating them. So let me know your feedback. What do you think? Uh, these are very uh, nicely designed uh, iframes. I mean, they were all optimized for the iPhone. So if you know of any other popular sites uh, that use this, I'm interested. If I can aggregate, like, let's say, if you can help me find eight uh, of Google's iPhone optimized uh, websites that can pull up in the browser without faking anything, because uh, that's the thing, you know, it's, it's got to work without, you know, faking a, a browser agent string. Um, if you find eight of them, I would put together google.facebuzzer.com. Uh, if you can find other ones like search, uh, iPhone optimized search pages for like Bing and Google, etc., Yahoo, etc. Um, if I can get it to work, I'll do search.facebuzzer.com. So help uh, if, you, if you know eight other uh, apps that are specific to a niche. I'm interested in aggregating them and making them a subdomain on facebuzzer.com, like apple.facebuzzer.com or windows.facebuzzer.com. Yes, I believe there are probably iPhone optimized pages of Windows websites out there. Not running Windows, of course, just, you know, window fans. Windows fans, not window fans. A window fan would be something that would keep your room cool if you happen to be running a computer that was running hot. hot. My email address, chris at perillo.com. That's where you can help me build a subdomain of FaceBuzzer if you want, if you can. It's awesome if you do, because it's easy for us to kind of put together. We've got the domain. Share it with your friends. Uh, let me know what you think. I know you're going to run into issues, and if you can help me make it better, uh, please drop me a line. My email address, again, did you forget it? Because I said it. chris at perillo.com. Geeks.perillo.com is where we have a thriving community of tech enthusiasts. And then, of course, we've got coupons.lockernome.com. Uh, as I mentioned it, it before, at least in other videos, uh, lockernome.com is a place where we basically uh, split advertising revenue with people who can write well. Even if you do videos and you do show notes with those videos, I'd be interested in taking you on as a, a blogger on lockernome.com, no matter what you happen to be uh, doing videos about. But you know me, I love tech. Uh, then you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash chrisperillo. Facebook.com slash chrisperillo is the Facebook fan page. Funacode.perillo.com where you can make fun text for tweeting or emailing or posting to your own blog. Lockernome.net is where you can get a free blog. And then premium.lockernome.net is uh, where we do WordPress hosting if you want a WordPress blog. I do a lot, really, these days. Tagjag.com. 
It's where you can search Amazon and eBay and pull up RSS feeds for them. You know, we show you the latest deals there. And then domains.tagjag.com is where you can get creative about finding a new domain to buy, you know, because we'll, we'll scan a web page for you and then show you two keywords put together in the potential... Do, do you remember watching that video? Domains.tagjag.com? Okay. I've te God, i got a lot of websites. <laughs> Maybe I need to make a face buzzer for all my websites. Well, anyway, if you want to join us in the chat room, we are typically talking tech. Get a blow dryer? Is he talking about my hair? Or is he talking about the computer being too hot? We are typically talking tech. Some people talk smack! 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll eat you later.